My name's Tim Cork, and I'm just going to talk to you a little bit today about uh, networking. A lot of people ask me, I've, I've sort of coined a phrase called net giving, and I get this all the time. People come up to me and say, why would you call it net giving? And really what net giving does is net giving takes the work out of networking. Let me just define it for you. Net giving is just the attitude of what can I do for you. So when, you're meet, when you walk into a room, when you're meeting with other people, and you're networking, and a lot of people think this is pretty complicated. If you have the attitude of what can I do for you, how do you think the conversation's gonna go? How do you think people are gonna react to you? Because most people go into networking situations with the attitude of take. What can you do for me? That's just short-term thinking. So if you go into any situation when you're networking, when you're meeting with other people, when you're doing presentations, anytime you have one-to-one -one interaction or you're with other people, then you should always have the attitude of what can I do for you? And some of the ideas, so that's the whole net giving concept. It's just the attitude of what can I do for you? So uh, some of the things to think about when you're networking or net giving, when you walk into a room, um, some of the key things to talk to people about is find out what's important to them. See, a lot of the time, because if I ask you what's important to you, well, you're important to you. So find out, ask them questions, get them to talk about what's important to them. And that, again, that's the power of net giving because it's not about me. It's about you. It's about the person you're talking with. It's about the person you're connecting with. Some of the other things, a lot of the time people will say from a giving standpoint, when you say net giving, what do you mean by giving? And here's some of my favorite gives. And I like to, I actually use this thing called G7. G8's already taken. So I went with G7. And G7 is simply this, give, 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 and give again. The attitude of giving. And again, so what do you mean by giving? What is the attitude of giving? Well, here's a good one. You're born with two ears and one mouth, use them proportionately. So when you're dealing with people, when you're talking with people, the best way to control any situation, ask good questions and listen. What a gift, what a great gift, what a great gift. What's another really good one? Compliment people but only if it's genuine, only if you really mean it. That will make a difference, that will make an impact. So some of the other things to think about giving, sharing, collaborating, these are all net gives. Again, when you're networking with other people, and one of the things I'd like to do while I'm talking to you right now too is let's define what networking really is because people get messed up with the whole concept. They go networking, this is daunting, it's intimidating. I'm not really comfortable with this. I'm not good at it. But if we can just define this and, and sort of simplify it a little bit, if you think about it, networking is simply just connecting with people. So anytime you're emailing, anytime you're talking to people live, you know, messaging, whatever it happens to be one-to-one, -one, all these different things, anytime you interact with another person, that's networking. It's just simply connecting with people. And that really is what the power. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you three really good tips right now to think about when you're networking, when you're with a group of people, here's some things to think about. First of all, when you go into a room, a lot of people, they want to go and they want to talk to as many people as they can as quickly as they can. So sometimes you hear these networking events, they're like speed dating. And I kind of don't get that because really what you want to do is you want to talk to less people and spend more time with them. Because people will go through events and go, gee, look at how many cards I got. Look at how many people I touched. Well, they don't really get to know anything about them. And the real power of networking is spend more time with less people. So that's a really, really important one. Second one that's really, really powerful, and I touched on it a little bit earlier, but when you are talking to people, you got to figure out what are a couple of good questions to ask. What are questions I can ask them to get them to talk about themselves? What's important to them? And if I can, get them to talk about, if somebody comes up, for, for instance, here's an example. If somebody comes up to me and says, how are Stephanie and Jeffrey, my kids? They got me. They got me. It makes a difference. It has an impact on me. So when you're in there, number two is ask good questions, okay? And the third one, the third one is very, very critical too, is when you meet with other people, think about some way you can compliment them. 
What's a compliment? And I touched on that earlier too. So is there some way you can compliment? And here's the key to that. It's got to be genuine. Because if it's not genuine, don't do it. They know. It will backfire. That's the wrong way to go. So it's got to be genuine. When it's genuine and you're passionate about it, guess what? It's contagious. People want contagious. And you got to have fun too. You know, don't take yourself too seriously because most people aren't taking you that seriously. Take what you do seriously. Don't take yourself too seriously. So I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Go out and connect with as many people as you can on an ongoing basis. Have a great day.